You're in three episodes. One a year for three years. It was my, it's my old age annuity pension plan. <laughs> <laughs> How did you get the job in the first place? They saw me at Pinocchio's. They were looking for the part of Beverly LaSalle. Hold on, I'm molting. <laughs> uh, they were looking for Beverly LaSalle, and they came up to Pinocchio's, and so I was. <laughs> And you got the second longest laugh? Yeah, when, it, when I pulled the wig on the first of the mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation Well, why don't you show, explain that little scene? Well, Archie had given me mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation thinking I was a woman. <laughs> and all of a sudden he found out I wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> and for the bigot of the world to find out he kissed a man, you know, there was not enough laborious in the world. <laughs> right? And so I pulled the wig. And to reveal that I am a man, and it's the second longest laugh in the history of all in the family, only topped by Sammy Davis when he kissed him. <laughs> Coy, you had a question. Yeah, I'd like to know how you keep your bust line and also how you hide your masculinity. <laughs> Beautifully phrased, I think. <laughs> and help. Well, the bust line's by Goodyear. <laughs> And actually what you do is you get a little bag of rice and put it in a sock and then pull your kneecaps up. <laughs> he keeps us laughing all the time. Does he? Yeah. <laughs> did, you, did you start to do comedy when you first started at Pinocchio's? Or yeah, we... I, was, I, I was booked in as the comedy specialty uh, six years ago. But you were a dancer before that. In New York. And I was a legit actor. I, I've been through every phase in this business, yeah. I was a legit actor, dancer in New York. When I came out here, I couldn't get a job. They don't use actors and dancers much in San Francisco. And Lori Shannon was literally born on the streets of San Francisco out of necessity because I was starving to death. So you answered an ad? Or? Uh, well, no. I went into a club, and they said, you have a great face for drag, and we will pay you $10 a night to pantomime Shirley Bassey records. <laughs> and I went, whoopee. <laughs> <laughs> but that's how Lori Shannon was born, actually. And then, it just, and then I started to work live, and it developed an act. Carol, you've been at Pinocchio's a long time. What is the turnover rate of performers? And, and are you in on all the auditions of new people? No. Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Pinocchio run everything. And uh, they, uh, on the auditions, they pick whom they want. Uh, if there is an audition, Rory was already, he was hired. You never auditioned, did you? Rory? Yes, yes, I did. Oh, you did? I bought one year before I was hired, actually. Oh, really? I did a, uh, two shows one night. Oh, well, see, I didn't know that. Yeah. And, uh, but uh, as a rule, uh, they pick out who they want, who, who can be uh, molded into the show properly. Mrs. Finocchio arranges everything. Now, we talked about your outfit. Do you get just to be as madcap as you want to with your Oh, yeah. Well, my whole theory is it takes a man to wear these clothes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, what woman do you really know that would be caught dead of Safeway in this outfit? <laughs> Has the gay movement at all diluted the female impersonation thing? The, well, the gay movement has, and television has, uh, because everybody does it now. I mean, you can see Harvey Korman, Milton Berle, everybody, it's, a, it's become a gimmick for TV. Uh, when I did the first All in the Family, it had not been done that much except by Milton Berle. Then all of a sudden, everybody was wearing wigs and pulling them, and, you know, it became for like three seasons. Right. So it's very hard now because there's, there's no unique appeal to seeing it in the nightclub when you can see it on television which puts the emphasis more on talent now. Yeah, no, You've got to entertain them. Carol said... I was doing it before Milton Berle. Were you? Right. I, I, was, I was touring... Uh, in fact, I toured places you wouldn't believe. For Shell Oil, I played Borneo in Malaysia, you know. But, uh, How did they like you there? Shell Oil? Me. Did they? It's all, all did English. Did their spears? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't play for the natives, <laughs> but uh, you'd be surprised at beautiful theaters. You'd well, be surprised. we, we got to go away again uh, for a couple of messages, and we'll be right back. Should we take a look at this picture? Oh. Right? <laughs> We're having a lot of fun this morning with two of the stars from the San Francisco famous female impersonator show, Finocchio's. And, Coy, you asked a question uh, a little while ago about how they hide their masculine. Did you get an answer to that? No. <laughs> I, especially in those tight costumes where they're doing a lot of high kicks. Well, I can sum it up for you in two words. Uh -oh. Tuck up. <laughs> well, on that note... Um, yeah. One of the things right. you, do, you do so wonderfully, <clears throat> Pinocchio, Zora, is you go out into the audience and you talk to them. Would you do that with our audience? Oh, I'd love to. I mean, to. take the microphone <laughs> and walk back.
right over here with Joy. Hi, Joy. Hi, how are you? <laughs> I'm just dying to know how many times a week you get picked up. <laughs> By whom? <laughs> no, at Pinocchio's, we have a rule. We arrive and leave out of drag. So the people who see me leaving the club would never know they'd just seen me on stage. So I don't have that problem, you know. Really, we're, we're very, you know, we arrive and leave as men, and we only do it in the show. Okay. Yes. Can you clothes when you're performing? Oh, yes. Everything I, everything I wear is designed by my own designers. How did you learn how to do all that makeup? <laughs> Actually, I'll tell you what I did. I modified my boy dancer makeup and then exaggerated the eyes. <laughs> so actually what I did was my old makeup from years ago and then I exaggerated the eyes because, you know, it's glitz and flash and big lashes, you know. When I did all the family, I wore these and they said, would you take the Minnie Mouse lashes off? <laughs> you know, just Do you feel more confident when you're impersonating a woman rather than yourself? Yeah, it's strange you should ask. No, because Laurie Shannon is totally secure as a performer. She is the best of Don, which is my real name. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, you know, Don has all the hang-ups everybody else has, but Laurie on stage is very secure and very in control. So, yeah, Laurie is actually the more fun part of me, I guess. Now, Pam. I'd like to know what a nice girl like you is doing in a place like this. <laughs> well, at this hour, I thought I was going to do the stock market report. <laughs> you got this side. Yes. When you were a child, did you like to dress up in uh, women's clothes or things like that? Not at all. Really? I do. This is really a way to make a living. Oh. It's like, uh, you know, a Madison Avenue executive puts on a three-piece suit to go to work. Yeah. I put on a dress and feathers. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Patty. How long Patty. does it take to do all the makeup, Diamond? Start to finish, 15 minutes. Oh. Oh. 15, 15 minutes for those eyes. I throw everything up in the air, run under it, whatever lands I wear. <laughs> Yes, sir. Two of them, guys, sometimes get your mind mixed up as what you are, whether you are a man or a woman or are. You're always very much aware that you are a man or... Well, it's a very schizophrenic existence, but we're always very aware. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. No problem. I have no, I have no identity crisis with that. Hi, Sue. Hi. Have you seen any changes at Pinocchio since you've been there as far as the type of acts that are done, or...? Me? Yeah, because I was the first one, I think, in the 46 years they've been open to do topical humor. Uh, because when it was really taboo when I opened. And I just couldn't do the old 1950s kind of comedy. It was not my thing. And audiences now are much hipper. The audiences, as television has spoiled audiences to death, then you've really got to keep up with what they can see any night on television. So the thing, the other side of that, though, is we are offering escapism. People don't want to be reminded of that there's a recession outside the front door. So we avoid certain things that are unpleasant. We don't get too topical. But the same thing, Nancy Reagan's still fair game. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Rob. Just a favor, before you, we go to a commercial break, uh, instead of letting them ask you questions now, would you talk to them like you do? Can you keep it clean? Yeah. Will, you, will you talk to them like you do in, in Pinocchio? Sure. Pick out different audience members and do some okay. shit. Barbara, you're going to be my fair game for tonight, okay? Today. Where are you from? Uh, Florida. Florida. Oh, Anita Bryan country. How lovely. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I know, actually, you know, we can't kid Anita anymore now. She's decided she wants to coexist, right? And, and she is right. She is absolutely serious. We were playing cards together just the other night. <laughs> it's not easy to play cards with Anita Bryan. She keeps ripping up the queens. <laughs> laughing at. I could be your milkman. You don't know. <laughs> Hi, Kristen. Where are you from? Novato, Marin County. Oh, Novato. No, yeah. Oh, Novato. No, I don't go to Novato. They have fruit inspections. It's only right <laughs> Don't hold it in. Don't let it out. That's what we're here for. If you hold it in, you create gas and embarrass yourself later. <laughs> Hi, Hazel. Where are you from? Walnut Creek. Walnut Creek, thin capital of the West. Uh, <laughs> can be. Uh, can be. Oh, I'm moving. <laughs> all right. Tom, you're looking very bemused, surrounded by all these women. Do you, do you always bring your own bookends? I think that's so sick. I like a man who knows how to frame himself. Don't you? Where are you from? Richmond. Richmond, all right. Jerry. You're looking at me quizzically. You've never seen anything this big before in your life. Huh? Where are you from, dear? San Jose. <laughs> Same problem with fruit inspections. All right. Let's take a break. We'll be back with Laurie and 
Carroll right after this. <laughs> 